Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing a Fairy Loot unboxing. Um, here's the July box. It kind of arrived pretty late, so which is why we're doing it in August. But I think I waited for it for like three weeks. So here we are. Um, on top of it all, we have, as always, the spoiler card, which is gorgeous. It's really pretty, but I'm not going to look at the explanation of what items we have here. Next up, we have an art print. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is amazing. So, we have an art print and... Um... I think because there is a nightingale, I think this might be from, um, oh, what was it called? The Bear and the Nightingale, the Winter Night, Winter Night trilogy. Hang on a second. This series, the Bear and the Nightingale. So we're going to see later if I'm right. Now, next we have a scented candle. It says the Ash Crown, um, and it's in by in the week of time, I think. So this is obviously um, inspired by Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. This smells really nice. It smells like oh, it says black currant tea there. So. It smells really nice, but if I have to be honest, Fairy Loot included a um, scented candle in their May box, and it was amazing. It it scented better than anything else. I've, I mean, than any scented candle I've ever smelled. So this is good, but it's not as good as the one in the May box. So next up, we have something packaged. Um, let's see. Oh, these are magnetic bookmarks. I love magnetic bookmarks. Um, okay, so this is from... Um, oh my god. Um, Fairy Loot included the book in their January box. Um, oh my god, what's happening to me? Um, woven in Moonlight. Woven in Moonlight. So, and these are the animals that um, are featured in the book. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but there was a jaguar, there was a llama, and there was a sloth. So these are really cute. These are really cute. I like them. And for magnetic bookmarks, they're quite big. Like, they're this big. Normally, like, my, at least my magnetic bookmarks are, like, at least uh, twice as little as this one. So, nice job. Um, and it says here that... They were designed by Isabel Ibanez, who's actually the author of the book. So, good job. Okay. Um, now, okay, so I, I took it out of the packaging, but um, this, is, this is like a mini... Um, I don't know, like a place where you put your cards, card holder, card holder. Yeah, that's, that's probably what it's called. Um, so this is like a mini card holder and um, I have no idea what this is inspired from because it's pretty generic. It's like it's got moons and um, a sun and I, I have no idea like what fandom this is from but I'm definitely gonna use it because lately I've been using a lot of clutch bags and there's never like a separate pocket where I can put my cards and um, and this is definitely going to come in handy, so I'm loving this. Now, let's see. Um, next, we have a tray. So, this is just, just a plastic tray. It says, one should never save cake for later when it can be eaten now. Uh, which is from Winter by Marisa Meyer. I still haven't finished the Lunar Chronicles. I think I'm like halfway through Cress. 
um, and I never actually finished it, so I haven't read The Winter, which is the final book. Uh, but this tray is cute, like I'm definitely gonna use it around like the kitchen or I don't know. I normally don't really like household items in book boxes because this is not what I buy book boxes for. Um, like this, I have this spoon like here somewhere. Like this wooden spoon, I'm not gonna use it in the kitchen because like it's pretty and stuff, but it's it looks weird just like putting it on next to my box because it's a wooden spoon so you know it's kind of weird uh but i'm sure that i'm in the minority here because most people really love getting like useful items they can use and not just like another random art print but art prints are like my favorite so anyway um this tray i'm gonna use it and um it's pretty pretty nice okay so <laughs> the next thing is and pillow, actually a pillowcase. So it's um, it says through love always possible. So this is obviously from uh, Crescent City, and uh, I actually, contrary to what I expected, I absolutely adored Crescent City. So I really like this pillowcase i'm definitely gonna like put a pillow and just uh use it because i really 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 like the book um but if i have to be honest when fairy loot announced that they were going to include a crescent city um item in their box i was expecting something like what uh illumicrate did a few months back and they included the most gorgeous art print inspired by crescent city it was so beautiful it was i don't know i, I was speechless when i saw it and i was i missed that box because I, I didn't subscribe to let um so i'm i'm not disappointed i love this but i still think that the illumicrate um crescent city item was much better but again like there's no comparison because one is an art print and the other one is a pillowcase so anyway i went off on a tangent here so um okay so next up i see the two tarot cards that we have for this month um okay so i think that these are um from v schwab's um i don't know what's happening to me today um Oh, the series with uh, the different Londons and uh, this is probably Holland because he's grey and he was he's from grey London and this looks like Rye who's from red London and uh, I really like them even though Holland looks super tortured and Holland was my favorite character in the whole trilogy and I don't like to see him this tortured even though he was tortured in I mean not literally in the books but poor Holland Anyway, so these are the other two tarot cards. I'm not sure what to do with the tarot cards, to be honest, because like I missed, I've missed maybe half of them, because by the time I subscribed to Fairy Loot, um, they'd already, I don't know, issued like 20 cards, no, not 20 cards, but maybe like 15 or so, and 16, because they do, they do them in pairs, so it can't be 15. Uh, but anyway, my point is that I'm not, um gonna buy separately all the tarot cards so that i have a set because even if i have a set i don't know what to do with it so yeah um if someone has an idea what to do with the tarot cards like how to display them i was thinking of putting them on my wall and just like having a huge like tarot wall or whatever but i'm pretty sure my husband is uh, gonna kill me if i do that so no um Okay, the next item in the box is another, by the look of it, another art print, which I love. Uh, and actually, this art print is uh, the letter from the author, the Dear Reader letter, uh, which Fairy include with each box. 
Um, and this is obviously, since it's a letter from the author of the featured book, these are characters, the main characters from the featured book, um, which I, I have no idea who these people are, because I haven't read the book yet, because it just came out. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna read the letter a little bit later. I really love reading the letters from the authors. It's, it's a really nice touch, if I have to be honest. Um, next up is the fairy scoop for the month and um in the fairy scoop like there is an interview with the author I each month this is this is happening like each month and uh an interview with the author and then um there are ways uh there is like they display the ways that the fairy loot edition is special and what customizations it has um as opposed to like the the general book that's sold in bookstores so this one has an exclusive dark green cover, sprayed black edges, and is signed by the author. And um, the standard edition has a blue, dark blue cover. So we have uh, we have quite a lot of customization, so that's nice. And then on the back, there is information about next month's box, uh, which would be August, which um, I think they shipped uh, like recently so i think they're getting back on track with the shipping hopefully because um next we have the regular bookmark which is uh featuring the same artwork as the um as the spoiler card so this is this is pretty standard uh, i use these bookmarks all the time now normally the book with the dear reader letter and the bookmark and the fairy scoop come in like one of those little book sleeves uh but this month didn't come in a book sleeve it just it looks like this <laughs> so here is the featured book it's shielded by kayleen flanders um on the back it says my words tipping my shattered life scattering like glass across eyes how was I to find my place in a new land when I couldn't find a place among my own people? How would I keep my secret hidden while under the scrutiny of an entire kingdom? So from what little I know about this book, it is about a girl who was supposed to get married to... No, wait. I think... Okay, so I'm gonna read the, the synopsis. Now, the kingdom of Halandi is in trouble. It's losing the war at its borders, and the rumors of a new deadlier threat have surfaced. Princess Janissara knows her skills on the battlefield would make her an asset and wants to help, but her father has other plans. Second-born heir to the throne, Jenna, lacks the firstborn, her older brother's magical abilities, so the king promises her hand in marriage to the prince of the neighboring Turia in exchange for resources Helendi needs. Jenna has no choice. She must leave behind everything she's ever known if she is to give her people a chance at peace. On the journey to reach her betrothed and her new home, the royal caravan is ambushed and Jenna realizes the rumors were wrong, the new threat is worse than anyone imagined. Now Jenna must decide if revealing a dangerous secret is worth the cost before it's too late Her, for her and for her entire kingdom. Um, I'm not sure by the synopsis, I'm not sure if this is going to be one a story of an arranged marriage if it's going to be one of the stories where the princess runs away and finds uh, like her skills along the along a journey or something. So I don't know. I'm interested. I'm going to read it. I have to admit, if this book wasn't featured in a fairy loot box, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But in general, I've had really good um, track record with fairy loot's featured books. Most of the times I've really liked them. And in one case i absolutely adore that it was the incendiary book which they featured in their april box i highly highly recommend this book it's absolutely amazing so uh back to the topic uh shielded is uh the july book uh and uh, i'm gonna read it pretty soon so it has black sprayed edges and i know people are going crazy about sprayed edges i go crazy about sprayed edges too so i love it and um the naked heart cover looks like this so there is like um 
I don't know how this is, what this is called to be honest. Um, and yeah, it's quite a nice book. So, and it's as usual signed by the author. Now, um, that's the last thing in the box. Overall, I have to say that I'm really, really impressed. I love that. Um, I'm going to use most of the items in this box and I think everything's super pretty. I'm super happy that we got like three art prints, which to me is amazing. I always love them. I display them like um, on my bookshelves always. And I just think that they're pretty nice. And uh, they're one of the reasons why I subscribe to book boxes. So this was it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.